this ruddy topia warning. Tomorrow is local election day, or as I like to call it, a dress rehearsal for watching Tories cry in sports centres. It's also our last chance to send a very strong signal to the Tories ahead of the general election. This is the strong signal that I like to send Tories, which is why I'm no longer allowed near my local Conservative MP's house. You see, they're banking on your apathy. They're banking on you not turning up to vote. They're banking loads of your taxpayers' money in self-serving contracts, aren't they, Sunak? Infosys, anyone? What? Our apathy will get them over the finish line. A lot of voters don't turn up for mayoral elections, council elections, police commissioner elections. Well, progressive voters tend not to. Tory voters do in their droves. I'll tell you who is actually taking this election very seriously. The government. Yeah, that's why they're ramping up all the hateful, divisive rhetoric and blaming the poorest and most vulnerable people in society who are probably only suffering as a consequence of the government's negligence, corruption, incompetence, their cuts. Well, I just had to stop myself from calling them cuts. I've got to try and keep this safe for work, which is very difficult. Just got to get through this, like Daniel Biddingfield. With tactical voting, we can send a very strong message to the Conservatives. And we can also do what we did in the last local election, which has caused them to have to extend the lower portion of the graph to account for Tory losses. You see, in numbers, anti-Tory votes do actually win elections. But we don't see power because of first past the post, our entirely undemocratic voting system. Now, the fewer councillors, commissioners, mayors that they have, the less power they have. And it will really hurt them going into the next general election. And as for tomorrow, when it comes to making your vote, there's a very simple process that you need to follow. I know times are hard, you know, whether it's trying to get a GP appointment, trying to just buy some food, trying to stop your granddad from selling ganj to the kids just to make a bit of extra money. You are still legally entitled to a vote for now, although I wouldn't bank on retaining that if they get in power again. So here's the simple steps. Firstly, head over to stopthetories.vote and find out who your tactical vote is. And remember, this isn't a declaration of love for a particular party. This isn't about blue versus red. This isn't about footballification. This isn't about making a promise for the rest of your life. This is about voting out the people that are destroying our country and making your life worse. Two, take voter ID, lots of ID, as much ID as you can take. Check on the Electoral Commission website to make sure that your photo ID is accepted. Don't accept any guff from those people outside the polling stations that might want to discourage you or tell you that your ID is not valid. You have no obligation to in any way interact with them. And I say this because this was happening last time. Yeah, that's exactly why the Tories brought in voter ID, isn't it? To rig elections and make life harder for you. Three, take someone with you. Take your nan, if she's not a Tory. Take a, a friend, a neighbour. Take your dog. Offer a lift to someone that can't get to the polling station. Offer to walk with someone else, buddy up. When you get there, vote tactically to eat a Tory off a pier. And then sit back and watch the results on election night. One by one, watch them fucking cry. It's a very simple, but I assure you, very cathartic process. And for anyone out there that's not feeling very empowered, just know that there's more of us than there is of them. And if we all use this local election as a protest, we could lose them hundreds and hundreds of seats. We could loosen their grip on power. We could even possibly force them to give us the general election that we all want and we all deserve faster. But you don't do that by staying at home and not having your say. Because the only people that benefit from that are the toffs that are making your life worse. So turn up tomorrow and make a Tory history.